What's going on everyone? Welcome back. It is October 3rd already. Ironically, it is supposed to be 88 degrees out here today. Uh, unfortunately though, we have our first frost most likely in the forecast for this upcoming weekend. So we have a lot to get done in the garden today to get ready for that first frost. I'm going to be uh, starting to take out a lot of plants. Uh, we need to make room for where our garlic's going to go. Uh, there's a bunch of peppers that we need to cut off so they could be dehydrated before this weekend. I'm going to cut all the leaves off of the remaining tomatoes and hope that in the next three or four days we can get most of the tomatoes to start turning red. So we got a lot of work to do out here in the garden today. So let's get started. All right guys, so right here we have our zucchini bed. Our first few out here were zucchinis. We had some squash in here. This is gonna be where the garlic's gonna go. So I gotta get all this out of here. Um, this is the time where you usually plant your garlic early October. We've had unusually warm end of September and beginning of October. It was 86 yesterday, it's supposed to be like 87, 88 to degrees today. Um, so we don't want to get the garlic in too soon because if we get the garlic in too soon It's going to start growing too much. You want to get it in so it establishes roots, but not start to grow super high So we got to get this bed cleared so we can make room for the garlic uh, the zucchini We only planted one set this year. We didn't do like a midsummer Replacement on the zucchini or squash and up until the last couple weeks We've still been harvesting more zucchini than we need uh, next year We're gonna actually cut back on the amount of zucchini and squash that we do I think we're only gonna go down to one plant each because we just have too much even making and freezing zoodles and stuff like that Just had too much. So let's get started on cleaning this bed out <music> While I'm cutting all these uh, peppers off of this serrano plant, one of my favorite plants that we have out here in the garden, I want to just talk a little bit about what we uh, have in store for next year. Uh, we've kind of talked about uh, this is year, end of year two for us having this big of a garden. <clears throat> and excuse me, we were talking about uh, what we want to focus on in year three. And uh, this year we did try some things that uh, we hadn't before and didn't work out. Uh, some things that might have worked out if we had a little more room for them uh, but we didn't so next year we really want to start concentrating on things that we really are going to are going to use in the garden and uh, in the house throughout the season so obviously tomatoes are our number one thing that we use uh, when it comes to sauces and salsa and soups and uh, all that kind of stuff uh, number two would probably be our onions. Uh, as you guys saw in earlier vi videos this year, we did not uh, have any success with our onions this year, probably mostly due to my fault. Uh, last year we had a great harvest, uh, so next year we definitely want to concentrate on having a whole bed of our onions. Also a whole bed of garlic we are going to do again as I am getting this bed right here that you see uh, ready for that. And then uh, we are going to cut down on the peppers. Uh, we do love peppers and we do use them, but we had way more than we needed this year. So we are going to cut down to the ones that we only really need to use to turn into powders and use in things like our salsa and uh, other dishes. Uh, and then we also want to add a couple other peppers that we haven't done yet this year that we would be uh, that we would use in dishes such as like paprika peppers and uh, things of that nature so uh, just kind of some early ideas for next year uh, green beans are always a must for us uh, we absolutely love green beans and we use them throughout the entire year um, we'll continue to do our cantaloupe uh, our cantaloupe turned out really well this year uh, the sweet pumpkins didn't turn out as well as they did last year but that definitely will be another stay in the garden because uh, I love to make the puree out of that at the end of the year and turn that into pumpkin pie for the holidays. So sweet potatoes will come back. Um, our butternut squash also didn't turn out very well this year. So that's another thing that we are going to uh, try again next year. So 
Um, just a couple things why uh, I take all these peppers off this plant that we wanted to run through and uh, hopefully uh, next season will come before you know it. So, Alright guys, now that we got the majority of this bed taken out, we're going to move on to our pepper bed. We've talked a lot about this bed this year, so I'm not going to go through it too much. Just going to start taking the rest of these off. Uh, like I said, uh, we have our first frost that's coming up this weekend, or at least forecasted uh, Saturday, Sunday, Monday. Uh, lows here are supposed to be in the mid to high 30s so the most likely we are going to get our first frost so there's nothing really left for these guys to do um, unfortunately I work the next couple of days so I'm not going to be able to get out here and uh, do anything before we have that frost come in so the best thing to do today is just to start uh, taking what we have left and some of the ones that uh, we need to turn uh, green or might be Needed to ripen a little more. We have a couple grow lights in the house. Nothing crazy, but uh, big enough where we can get some of these to continue to turn in the house. Uh, some of the peppers though, you can use while they're green, uh, even if they're ones that you want to turn. Uh, here's one of our newer ones that we did this year, lemon jalapeno. It's crazy to, to actually uh, taste how lemony these are. Uh, we I uh, did one batch of salsa with just the lemon, and uh, you could definitely taste that citrusy uh, flavor inside the pepper. So uh, we're definitely going to do a, one of these again next year. We did two this year, definitely only going to do one next year, but uh, that's definitely on the list to return for next season. Another good sized yellow jalapeno right there. Next pepper we had here is our ha uh, habaneros. Uh, I got one red one. We had very good luck with our habaneros this year. I know that uh, these are still green, but like I said, we will not be around the next couple days before that frost comes in. So we are taking all these and uh, going to put these under some grow lights to get them to finish to turn, which they will. One of our very many poblano plants that did amazing this year. Uh, we didn't choose to grow this many. We grew some to give away and uh, we just had a bunch left over so we ended up with what one two three four five six, I think six poblano plants so we had way more than uh, we needed this year and between using them for salsa and using them to dehydrate for poblano powder which you can use to make your own chili powder uh, we have way more than enough so we're gonna go ahead and take the rest of them that are off these plants and cut the plants down for the season. These two were our grande jalapeno plants. They turned out amazing this season. We got so many. We have some uh, in the house that we still have to use. I'm going to make a couple jars of some pickled jalapenos and uh, we're going to probably do a couple more things of salsa to use these up. But uh, we, uh, we go through jalapenos like candy so we can never have enough and definitely going to grow the same variety next year because it turned out amazing this season. Alright guys, so we made it through the first pepper bed, got all the zucchinis out in that bed and the serranos. It's time to move on to our second pepper bed. It's about time though, we're going to have to stop and uh, empty our basket. We got a pretty full basket of peppers here, but uh, it is almost lunchtime. It is getting pretty hot out here, so I'm going to try and power through uh, the rest of this bed right here and then uh, take a break for lunch and we'll come back out later on this afternoon. Uh, all the jalapenos out of here. Uh, I got some bell peppers that there was nothing left on that plant and the rest of the poblanos. Uh, the other peppers that are left in here now are just uh, cayennes, habaneros, some Tabasco, and uh, what else we got here? Thai peppers. All ones that we want to turn red to ripen. Um, the frost isn't really going to hurt the actual pepper, it's just going to kill the plant back. Uh, Saturday morning is when we're expecting the first frost. It is Tuesday today, so I'm going to leave these in here to let them uh, try and turn as much as they can before Saturday morning and then we will come out and harvest them then. So as you guys can see with the tomatoes, what I've done is I've mostly cut all of the leaves off that I could. 
Still got some on uh, down here on the slicing tomatoes to do. But you see we do have quite a few green tomatoes left on here. We have some that uh, I also need to pick off and bring inside. It's a nice uh, paste tomato right there. Uh, but what I want to do is with these last few days left before our first frost, uh, I want all the energy to go to the actual tomatoes uh, so they start to ripen up. Uh, the ones that don't get there, well, they'll still be fine. We'll bring them inside and set them on the counter under one of our grow lights and uh, those will speed up the process to have them ripen. But uh, So what I'm going to do is finish cutting the rest of these uh, leaves off and uh, going to harvest some of the ones that are close to being done. Looks like we have another one right here. And uh, we'll be done with this bed. So our pumpkins didn't turn out perfect this year, but they're also not horrible. We got, I think four is all we're gonna get because I believe that the squirrels got the one on the top and they started eating that one. I should have enough to make at least enough puree for, I would say, two pies at least. This is a good size one. This is probably our biggest one that we have. And unfortunately, the squirrels or raccoons started eating this one. So I don't think that this one's going to be salvageable. And unfortunately, we have a couple more that are just starting, but there's no way there'll be enough time for them. We do have a good amount of Cody's favorite tomato here. These are delicious tomatoes or we think the tomatoes do not match the picture on the seed packets that we got but these are super delicious and I'm gonna start taking the majority of these off that's a good size one I'm gonna be using some of the last of our tomatoes to make some more of the tomato and leek soup. We've already tried it and it is super good. So I'm gonna take some of these leeks over here that we got. Look at that one. It smells so good too. Let's see. Fortunately, the ones over here did not get as big as we had hoped. But when I make the soup, all I do is take some of the smaller ones and I'll add them up to the size of a bigger one.
Guys, what an amazing season it was this year in the garden. We're sorry it took so long to get this video out, but we have been super busy over the last couple months. We have other videos we plan to put out after the holiday season is over. Can you believe we're already going to start getting ready for next season? We thank you so much for tuning in to us this year, and we look forward to seeing you guys next year. Everyone have a great holiday season, and we'll see you in the new year.